Welcome to the Diabetes Prevention Program. Today we are going to target balance and your legs will get a workout as well. Again, find a stable chair. So today it's especially important that your chair does not tip if you hold it. You're going to elongate the spine as always. Stand on all parts of your foot, the big toe, the little toe, and both sides of the heel. The crown of your, your head is to the ceiling. You're going to now engage your core, that you know what your core is. So try to hold your navel in slightly. If you have good posture, your core will automatically engage. From here, take a nice deep breath. Roll the shoulders back. Try to relax the body as much as possible. When you work balance, it's all about focus and control. The key to success is to stand tall on the leg that's supporting you and try not to lean on it. So you're going to balance on your right leg, pick up your left leg, and you're going to start tapping it forward and back. So just tap the toes in front of you and behind you. And if you can incorporate your arm, terrific. When you feel comfortable, you can start to pick the leg up and swing it. If your level of comfort is good, you can put your index finger on the chair for balance. Eventually, we want you to let go, but not until you're ready. And again, it's all about focus and control. If you can pick a point on the wall in front of you to stare at, focus on that, it will help you with your balance. Now we're gonna give you a side view as you change legs. So again, different leg. Now you're supporting yourself on your left leg. Start by tapping the toes forward and back because each leg feels completely different. And just notice if one side is easier than the other. Start by tapping the toes. And then when you're ready, you can lift the leg and swing. If you're not ready to lift the leg and swing, it's perfectly acceptable to stay tapping your toes. You're still working your balance. your level of confidence is good, you can put your index finger on the chair for support. And eventually let go. So with balance work, it's not important to count. It's more important to notice how you're feeling and complete a series that feels good. From here, we are going to work your hamstring. So again, balance on the right leg, standing up nice and tall, trying not to lean on the leg. You're going to bend your left leg. Make sure your knees line up. Your left knee is going to be next to the right knee, and the knee is pointing down, so make sure it's not too far forward or too far back. You're going to flex your left foot, curl your left leg, so you're trying to bring the heel close to your bum and extend it behind you. This time you want to complete a series of 10. As you do this, bring your attention to your hamstring. You're going to contract the hamstring. So imagine that you are pulling a weight with your ankle and not holding the breath. Inhale to prepare, exhale as you move. show you the side view of the other leg. So now you will prepare yourself. So try not to rush your balance. Get yourself set. Pick your focal point. Take a couple of deep breaths. Engage your core. Stand tall on that leg that's going to support you. And then lift your opposite leg, flexing the foot. Make sure your knees are lining up and squeezing that hamstring as you flex the foot. Complete, complete a set of 10. From here, you're going to work your outer thigh, your adductors, your abductors. 
so again, you're going to get yourself set. Stand on your supporting leg, the right leg. You're going to lengthen the left leg away from you, trying not to lean on that right leg. This especially is challenging because that leg is going to the side. That left leg is going out to the side. So try to stand as nice and tall as you can. It's not important to get the left leg high. It's more important to focus on the right leg standing tall. Flex your left foot and let the leg float away from you for a repetition of 10. Pressing that leg through the air and focusing on the right leg. Engaging the core and breathing. And change legs. And out to the side. Getting set on the left leg. Having your right hand on your hip helps with balance. And from here, take a nice deep breath to finish your session. 